Hi, this is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and today is, I believe, uh, Saturday, April the 17th of 2021. So this is a special one of these in its own way, in that um, I've been doing these for a year now, as of last week completed a year. So this is my first video of my second year of doing these. Who'd have thunk it? And I haven't missed a week, so that's pretty cool. And of course, um, within a few months of starting them, I also did a second one that I do every week now of six songs by a different artist or a different theme. And those continue as well. Um, so for those of you who've stuck it out for the ride, thank you. I hope I have uh, managed to entertain you and maybe even occasionally enlighten. Who knows? One hopes. Um, so yeah, you're why I do this. I do this for my friends. I love my friends. You're all very important to me. And uh, it means a lot that you take the time to watch these little whatever they are. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about three truly different, I suppose yet connected dreams that I had over the week. And they happened three days in a row, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Tuesday evening, I don't know why, but I dreamt about a 10-foot carrot. I was going to say a giant 10-foot carrot, but the fact that it's a 10-foot carrot means it's giant. And as if that wasn't enough, it was wearing kind of like a Fonzie leather jacket at some points, but it was sweating pimples. Big pimples were coming off it like sweat, like like big zit pimples. Kind of gross, really. Um, but a strange dream. Sorry, itchy, itchy hair. Um, and that was Tuesday. Wednesday evening, fascinating dream. I had this dream that I was invited to this uh, large building filled with uh, three foot by four foot canvases and I was invited there by Paul McCartney and uh, among a bunch of other people who were artists as well uh, could never clearly make any of them out different men and women and what we were to do was to paint sort of abstractly um, as Beatle music played and whatever we felt inspired to paint is what we would paint and um, as I was painting kind of abstractly and I remember using a lot of like yellows and tans and oranges and reds mostly in, in what I did um, the paintings would constantly change and I mentioned to Paul I said, gee, I hope someone is filming this because it's really interesting how the paintings keep on changing. And he just didn't really react to what I had said. But um, it wasn't just, you know, because so often in dreams, a reality will keep changing. They always say, like, if you look at a book, it will never say the same thing twice in a dream. So it wasn't just that. And that, maybe there were elements of that. But, like, as I would paint something sometimes someone would come next to me and start painting over what I painted and I would paint on things that people had already started painted painting as well although I stuck to mainly this one particular canvas and it or I should say two because there was one and then there was one around the corner to the right of it as I was standing in the dream but it was fascinating to watch all these constantly changing canvases that were abstracts very kind of flowy uh, that were going along to Beatle music uh, all like I'll say psychedelic period and I remember that at one point I could also hear a, a baby crying in the background someone had a baby um, but that was just for a moment so that was Wednesday evening uh, Thursday I was really tired and I, I was sitting out in the chair in the living room and I dozed off at about three o'clock. And I had a strange 
daydream. It involved a friend who I'll let remain nameless, except to say that I haven't seen her in over 20 years. Um, someone uh, very dear to me, one of my favorite people, but just through circumstances and that, she's been where she's been, you know, although she lives, she lives in the same state. Uh, but I was sitting in my old house in the living room. I think it was a living room. It was kind of a, a, a dream version of the old house. And she came in and she was shorter than she is. The person in question is about five, 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 six. But in the dream, she was about an even five foot tall, I would say. And then she started walking towards me and pulled off all her clothes, jumped on me and was furiously making out with me, um, which I didn't mind at all. It was, it was a very pleasant dream, rare for me. And it went on and on and on and on and on and on. And I, I don't think there was an inch of her I didn't kiss or something. Um, until I got a phone call at about, I remember it was 4.19 in the afternoon, a friend of mine woke me up. Now, that whole time, it wasn't that just that dream at 3 o'clock. It, it evolved into that dream. I forget what I dreamt before it. Something, something not as exciting as that, let us just say. But uh, so that was three interesting days of very unusual dreams. Um, none of them really bad, I have to say. Even the, the weird carrot one was, was entertaining. So welcome to my mind. Welcome to the beginning of uh, year two of these. Thanks for hanging around. I love you. Be in touch. Let me know what you're thinking. And, uh, oh, Joyce, I made a, another lovely pastade this week, which I'm still eating. Came out fantabuloso. So, bye, everyone. Thank you.